Well, what kind of technology are you talking about? He asked me not to talk about it. Hey, amazing viewers. Welcome to Raw 16. The clip you saw is from Joe Rogan Randall Carlson conversation, where he revealed that there are sound technologies which can control human brain and many other things like virus and bacteria. We believe that these technologies existed since ancient time. Let's find out in today's episode. So, imagine the awe-inspiring Great Pyramid of Giza. Those giant stones, some weighing up to 70 tons, are precisely placed towering over Egypt. And get this, many of these granite blocks were transported over 500 miles from a quarry. That's like moving a whole building over half a country. But here's the question, how did they do it? How did ancient civilizations manage to achieve such precision and engineering feats? Conventional archaeology suggests that the Egyptians dragged these stones on wet sand. Now, maybe that works for moving blocks along the ground, but we're talking about lifting them hundreds of feet in the air. Could they have had access to some kind of lost technology? Many researchers believe we're only seeing a fraction of what ancient civilizations were capable of. Some theorists argue that 12,800 years ago, a cataclysmic event, sometimes called the Ancient Apocalypse, wiped out advanced civilizations, erasing their history and technology from the planet. Sea levels rose, creating intense waves and pounding coastlines, possibly obliterating any traces of these ancient cultures. Think about it. If we're still discovering ruins today, what else might be hidden, waiting to be unearthed? One of the biggest mysteries researchers face is, where is the evidence? If these civilizations were advanced, why don't we find their artifacts, pottery, or tools? Well, maybe we're asking the wrong questions. Many things may have been completely lost, either obliterated by natural forces or ground down into the earth over thousands of years. It's a bit like if you dropped a bomb on a city, then waited 20,000 years before trying to find any trace of it. What would be left? This mystery deepens when we start to look at the technology they may have used. Archaeologists often look for signs of tools and methods similar to our own. But what if these ancient people weren't using combustion engines, cranes, or pulleys like us? What if their technology followed a completely different path? Some legends claim that ancient Egyptian priests could lift heavy stones with sound alone. Sounds like sci-fi, right? But modern science shows that sound waves can indeed influence matter. So, is it possible that the Egyptians or other ancient civilizations had a form of technology that used sound as a tool? It's a concept so foreign to us that it almost sounds magical, but it's just one of the many theories out there. And speaking of mind-blowing theories, let's talk about Nikola Tesla. Tesla believed in harnessing the natural energy around us and had ideas that would have seemed like wizardry to most people. In fact, a lot of his patents and notes were confiscated by the US government after his death. Why? Some speculate his ideas were just too powerful and maybe too threatening for those in control. Tesla's theories are part of a larger puzzle, and there are inventors today who believe they're on the verge of rediscovering this lost knowledge. For years, some of these researchers have been working in secrecy, trying to keep their work safe from corporate or governmental suppression. Imagine a technology based on resonance and geometry, where we could produce energy without any moving parts, just vibrations and frequencies. A key piece of this emerging tech is something called plasmoids. Essentially, these are donut-shaped clusters of protons or electrons that can store and release vast amounts of energy. It's almost like an atomic battery that recharges itself. Researchers believe that plasmoids could eventually fuel engines or power entire grids cleanly and sustainably. Right now, a small team in the Maldives is working on prototypes, using Tesla's and others' ideas about resonance and energy. By keeping their lab outside of government jurisdiction, they're able to innovate without interference. In fact, but why would this kind of technology be suppressed? For one, it's a massive threat to the current energy industry. Our world is powered by oil, gas, and other non-renewable resources, and any technology that could challenge that control would be disruptive, potentially dangerous for certain industries. Tesla, and perhaps even these ancient civilizations, had the potential to unlock sources of power that we still can't fully comprehend. What if these ancient societies were already harnessing energy in ways we're only beginning to understand? It's like nuclear power. Before the 1940s, the concept was unheard of. But within a few decades, humanity had learned to wield a power so immense, it reshaped global politics and technology forever. Could these ancient people have achieved similar breakthroughs? 
only to lose them due to disaster, suppression, or even intentional concealment. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? Thousands of years of human development wiped away, leaving behind monuments like the Great Pyramid, megalithic blocks, and tantalizing clues. So, as we push forward with our own advancements, maybe it's time to look back and rethink what we know about technology, energy, and even our own past. If this topic grabbed your curiosity, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what you think. Could we really be on the verge of rediscovering lost knowledge? And what else might be hiding in plain sight, just waiting to be uncovered? Thanks for watching, and as always, keep exploring.